bitter and battle times. The two younger sons of Sri Guru Gobind Singh were pricked up alive in Sirhen. On the orders of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb, enraged, the Sikhs launched a fierce attack. The legendary Baba Ala Singh fought valiantly. Sirhind was sacked. And Baba Ala, a man of vision and courage, carved out an independent principality of 30 villages in the aftermath of war. This was Patiala, the settlement of Ala. Modern day Patiala is the living legacy of this saint soldier. It is unique for it marries the pleasurable with the profound. It is famous for it believes in living it extra large like the Patiala peg, colorful like the Patiala pug and parandis, fashionable like the Patiala salwar and exquisite like the Patiala pulkari and juttis. So, take that short ride from New Delhi or the beautiful city Chandigarh and let this city of kings dazzle you with its majesty and sophistication. Can a fort tell a story? The ramparts of Kila Mubarak do. The year 1763. Baba Allah laid the foundation of Kila Mubarak and placed a sacred flame in its innermost chamber. Walking barefoot to the Himalayas, he had got the flame from the eternal fires of Jwala Devi. He was blessed that his empire will flourish as long as the flame remain. It has been kept alive for over 300 years now, alongside a holy dhuna. True to the promise, it has become the nucleus around which has grown a magnificent city. As you enter the Kila complex through the imposing Darshani gate, 11 acres of grandeur and history unfold in a tale of rich heritage, heroism and kingly passions. The Kila Andarun or the interior intrigues you with its architecture. Its nine courtyards, some large and others mere slits in the fabric of buildings nestled amidst richly decorated rooms showcase various phases of Patiala's history. In the outer precincts, the Darbar Hall, where the kings of Patiala had held numerous audiences, is now a museum. It is home to many precious works of art. Rare arms, including the sword of Sri Guru Gobind Singh and Shikarga, the sword of Nadir Shah, and a unique collection of tree-like chandeliers. Maharaja Bhupinder Singh went to Kolkata to shop for these chandeliers. Not knowing who he was, the shop owner thought he could not afford them. Miffed, the Maharaja bought all his chandeliers that gave a special sparkle to his darbar. Surely, this walkthrough merits a small pit stop in the Kila Chowk with its mouth-watering treats, the kulfi and chole bhature, before you set out to explore the lanes and bazaars that surround this fort. Shopping in the Shah Nasheen Bazaar and the Adalat Bazaar is a sheer delight, bursting with goods famous for their art and beauty. Hulkaris, Patiala Juttis, Parandis, Salwars. These markets are major centers for trousseau shopping. Patiala's Mall Road is the artery of life that has the Baradari on one flank and a syncretic religious legacy on the other. The Baradari, or the precinct with 12 gates, was created by the Maharajas of Patiala as an embodiment of the flamboyance and grandness of the Patialvi spirit. This lush estate houses many a matchless masterpiece. The Shish Mahal, with its artificial lake, the Lakshman Jhula rope bridge and manicured gardens was designed as a royal pleasure complex. Today, it's a museum that showcases Patiala's rich heritage alongside a unique medals gallery. Maharaja Bhupinder Singh was passionate about medals. The 3,200 pieces on display here make for probably the largest and the most valuable collection of medals and decorations in the world. The gem-studded Victoria Crosses from Britain, the Iron Cross from Germany, the Legion of the Honor from France, and the most noble order of the Garter, one of the highest civilian honors in the world, compete 
with some true vintage pieces. This 12th century artifact from Portugal is the oldest here. A short walk and you are face to face with the dazzling facade of the Motibag Palace. Once the royal home set in a 300 acre beautiful terraced garden, this architectural landmark now houses the National Sports Institute and a fascinating sports history museum. When at Motibag Palace, don't miss the lone railway carriage parked in the lawns. Wondering what it is doing in a garden nowhere close to a railway line? Well, Maharaja Bhupinder Singh laid a bet with the then Viceroy of India that his horses were faster than the British trains. The booty? The Maharaja's favourite horse versus the vice regal coach itself. You know who won it, of course. Now to this unique fern house, set in sprawling greens, developed on the lines of Calcutta Botanical Gardens. Its 54 fountains have been creating artificial rains for the plants and for the amusement of Patiala's elite for over a hundred years now. Nearby, the 19th century Rajendra Koti Palace has been recently converted into a heritage hotel by the highly reputed Neem Rana group. Out of the Baradari now, but Patiala's treasures are only beginning to cast their spell. A few kilometers from the city on the Chandigarh Road, the Bahadurgarh Fort is a red brick revelation. Its winding approach, bastions and high ramparts are still drenched in the devotion of its founder, Nawab Saif Ali Khan. He was seen only in black robes of mourning after the martyrdom of Sri Guru Teg Bahadur and even changed the name of his kingdom from Saifabad to Bahadurgarh. In fact, this syncretic culture of faith that cuts across religions resonates all around the city. The Kali Devi temple was revered by the Sikh rulers of Patiala and it stands almost back to back with the Mazars of Gugga Peer and Baba Rodesha. Close by, Gurdwara Dukhanivaran, or the temple where all suffering ends, is thronged by devotees of all religions. They touch the waters of its holy tank with which Sri Guru Tegh Bahadur is believed to have cured a huge epidemic and trust that all their woes will vanish as well. Once in Patiala, its flamboyance will lift your spirit in any case. Be at a match of polo, the royal sport and feel like a king. Visit the Baradari Cricket Stadium with its majestic pavilion and experience the magic of the Lords. Or visit the Akhara near Mahindra College to see wrestling made famous by Patiala's Gama Pahelwan, Rustame Zama. Or else, just take a joy ride at the Aviation Club and enjoy a bird's eye view of the city. Time your visit with Patiala's festivals. Patiala's Basant Panchmi is special. Thousands visit the Kali Temple every April and October in the Navratra season. June sees the grand festival of Sufi music and poetry at the Mazar of Baba Rodesha. This keeps alive the traditions of the Patiala Gharana of Hindustani music, made famous by the likes of Bade Kholam Ali Khan and Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. Or just feel the finesse and folk charms of craftsmen and artists at the Patiala Heritage Festival held in February at Shish Mahal. Patiala, after all, is and always has been the cultural capital of Punjab. As the day winds up, pause at the Shahi Samadha, the royal cenotaphs, and take a rickshaw ride through the streets where history comes to life every evening. Or Go for that Patiala peg, the double measure of whiskey, or the measure of the spirit of a people who believe in living it big. So, be in Patiala and enjoy a double measure of life in this, the city of kings. <laughs>